Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So from today's video, we are going to start with Django REST framework. Okay, so first let us understand why do we use Django REST framework and then I will explain you what is API. Okay, so Django REST framework is basically used to create RESTful API or a REST API okay now before starting with api theory part let me tell you that if you already have knowledge about api and rest api then please keep upcoming two lectures okay this video and next video which i am going to post about rest api okay so please keep those two videos because th these two videos are going to be theory okay and why i'm explaining this because this is very important part for a beginner to understand because if our student will don't know that how api works then he will not able to figure out the code also okay and yeah let's get started so what is api so api is application program interface okay and api is also known as middleman because it helps to communicate between two apps or a two project okay so I will give you an example so let's say I have a website okay blog website um, which contains all the blogs and this website is fully functional it is connected with database and everything okay and by firing some queries this website can easily fetch data from the database okay now later on i am deciding to create the application for people who like to read blogs from the phone or they don't have laptop okay so here um what i can do is i can create api okay and uh, for now let us consider our server as our blog website and our client as our mobile app okay and this both uh, projects are being connected with a database which is hosted on a cloud okay and during that time what it will be with it will happen as when i open my app and if i try to search blog or um, filter out some blogs at that time api will be triggered okay so api will take response from the client okay data from the client and travel to server okay and it will tell to server that please give me data which matches with these requirements and this server will serve the data to api in a form of json and this json string will be passed to my client which is mobile app okay and this mobile app will figure out json data and show you in a beautiful manner in css manner okay so this is how api works and api is now known as middleman okay because it is communicating between server and client okay i hope this cleared your doubt okay so let us understand what are the types of api so there are three types of api public private and partner okay so let us understand public api first so public api is free api and it can be used by any third party software or application and uh, this is free for everyone even software developer can use this okay and this is been hosted on any cloud and everyone can utilize this api and uh, the best example i could give is um news api which we all know because it is very famous api okay news api allows uh, developers to uh, fire 200 requests per day and it is free of cost you can use this api for development okay but when you host this api you need to pay them okay then i i mean before that I hope you got idea about this public API so let's move to private API so private API is an API which can be used in an organization itself okay no other uh, 
third party application from outside of the company can use this api okay that is known as private api okay then next is partner api so partner api allows you know to perform get request like uh, let's say i am partnered with uh, imdb okay i have company amazon prime video i am just taking example okay i have amazon prime video company and i am partnered with imdb so what i am doing is i am providing my data to imdb just to show the ratings of series or a movie which i am hosting on my platform which is amazon prime okay so whenever a user will rate um any particular series or a movie on amazon prime at that time that same rating will be reflected on imdb and it will show the ratings of any particular movie okay so this is known as uh, partner api okay so i hope you got about these uh, three type of apis and um, during this time you know api whenever api is triggered api can bring responses or take responses in a two uh, type like it can take responses or uh, give responses with json format and xml format okay but we are going to use json format because um, it is very common and easy to understand and it is compatible with almost every devices like desktop application or let's say website front end and android ios everything okay so that's why we are going to use json response in our tutorial okay and i think yeah this is pretty much it for understanding the concept of api okay so in the next video i am going to explain rest api okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you